Alright, so today I'm going to talk about what you need to know about building muscle, getting lean, and building strength. A lot of these things are pretty synonymous. You know, everyone has a different viewpoint and you may have a different, you may have been taught something different. And it can be a little bit confusing at times depending on what you read, if you read a magazine or you listen to another YouTube channel. And I think the best place to start is just coming from a beginner, coming from a novice, kind of what you should focus on. When you're trying to build muscle and really build a good physique, whether it be bodybuilding, whether it be just to look better for the summer, a lot of people approach it the wrong way when you're a beginner. And the big emphasis I want to make for most people when it comes to getting in shape, getting lean and looking the way you want, you have to put more emphasis on building strength. Now, I say this, I have my own personal biases about why you should focus on strength first, but a majority of people that work out or try to work out or try to lose weight don't work out on a regular basis. And because they don't reg work out on a regular basis, they don't really develop any good, they don't really develop really good habits with their, with their workout programming, and they jump from program to program and there's no consistency with how strong they're getting. They don't really focus on weak points. You can't really focus on weak points because you don't, because you're not consistent enough to find out what they are. And in general, most of the time, if you work out inconsistently or if you're inconsistent with your workouts, your whole body is weak, relatively speaking. Now, it's not really a matter of whether you compare yourself to other people, your friends or family, or what you see on TV or on YouTube or other videos you might see and what should be expected. The main reference point you should make is yourself. How many push-ups can you do? How many pull-ups can you do? How many sit-ups can you do? Those are basic examples because, I like those examples, because everyone can do them. You don't need any equipment. You just use your body weight. And if you take a look at weights, and if you have access to weights, you're either lifting more weight or you're not. You're either lifting, you know, you're living, either lifting with really good form and your position is better and you feel like you, your body knows the movement, or you don't. And it happens over time. And why I say focus on strength is because once you because once you focus on building a strength base, your body is going to change. There's just no doubt about it. Your muscles will form to get better. Your muscles will fill with muscle glycogen. You'll have more shape in your muscles, and you'll look better. You'll also get the appearance of leaning out, even if you don't cut your calories. But under most circumstances, what will happen is if you're not working out regularly, and you start working out regularly for four months on a good solid three to four days a week weight training program, chances are you're going to burn more calories, you're going to build some muscle, you're going to stimulate your metabolism, and in the process, assuming you eat fairly decent, you're going to lean out and get, and get fairly healthy and you're going to look better. So kind of what I want to do and, and, and kind of what I want to go by when it comes to building muscle is emphasize strength and focus on compound movements. Squat, bench, deadlift, overhead press, lunges, leg press, machine press, those are fine. I'm a big, or even dumbbell presses, incline presses, dumbbell rows, bent over rows, seated rows, lat pull down, pull ups. These movements require multiple muscle groups and they require your whole body to get strong. They require your whole body to learn a whole new movement. And if you want to get stronger and you want to get better, your whole body needs to get strong. Your biceps don't get strong by themselves. Your whole body gets better when you strengthen your biceps. If you strengthen your whole body, your biceps will be stronger. That's just kind of how it all works. So if you focus on building strength, you will build muscle, you'll burn fat, and you'll look better. Now once you start to get to kind of a more intermediate level or middle level, then that's kind of when you start to want to refine things, maybe start focusing on one body part, or even more, more emphasis should be placed on a specific movement. Like for me, for instance, and because I'm fairly advanced in my training or intermediate, I would consider myself intermediate to advanced. Not even, maybe a little advanced, but not quite advanced. And the reason why I say that is because I need a lot more work in my squat form. My squat form has not yet, it's not the best because of my mobility and flexibility. So I have a lot of things that I need to work on for myself. Now, a lot of the time when I talk to people about strength and getting better and stronger, what most people will need work in is their movement. They can't, most people can't squat below their knees. They can't do a more parallel squat. They can't deadlift without feeling a ton in their lower back. They can't, those are the things, those are many of the things that happen. So in order to get better at these things, you have to practice them and you need to get good form. So that's kind of my emphasis. I mean, that's what I really wanted to go over in this video is focusing on using strength to build muscle. 
and not trying to do a muscle building workout because they essentially are the same thing. You want to get stronger week after week after week. And you want to make sure that you're focusing on your entire body. Make your body a strong unit. Make it so that you can do more pull-ups, do more push-ups, move better, move more weight. Now, with the topic of getting lean, everyone may be in a little different spot. Usually people with a really low body weight have to focus more on building muscle and eat more calories. People with a higher body weight need to focus on lowering body fat and eating less calories and doing more cardio, typically. However, it depends on what other goals you have. Like with my goal, I have a tendency to want to, well, my goal is actually I have a powerlifting event, so I really don't want to cut a ton of weight. As much as I want to look better and look leaner and look more ripped, the problem is, number one, I hate dieting and eating less calories. And number two, if I diet too aggressively, my strength will suffer. Uh, actually, you know, my strength won't suffer too badly, but what will suffer is two things. One, I'm not going to be able to keep building strength or get stronger in my lifts. And number two, I won't be able to train as hard. Now, so, but I am on a small cut because I am trying to get back under 200 pounds. I'm roughly around 203. So after about a week of dieting, maybe two weeks, I'll be down to where I want to be. So focus on building strength to build muscle. Focus on getting stronger week after week in all your groups. Push, pull, and squatting. Don't worry about bicep and tricep curl or tri tricep curls. Bicep curls or tricep extensions or push downs or or even leg press for that matter. Because what you really need to focus on is really big muscle groups. I mean legs are a big muscle group, but if you focus on squatting and squatting weight, you're, you're going to have to use more of your upper body and back. And that's kind of the thing I want to emphasize in this video is that you want to work on strengthening your whole body. That way you burn, not only just burn more calories, but also get stronger. And that will cause you to lean out much faster. And also a lot of the soreness that you may get from a hard workout or a lot of the kind of beat up feeling you get the day after or Afterwards, your body has to recover, so your metabolism is slightly elevated, so you essentially get a sort of cardiovascular effect. If you want to lean out faster, I recommend that you walk and you do more light cardio. I wouldn't really focus on running for long periods of time, because if you do that, what you're going to end up doing is you're going to end up burning a lot of muscle, and you're going to end up fatiguing yourself to a point where you can't train as hard with your strength. Maybe if you did them in separate sections, it would be fine, but if you're running for just enjoyment, that's totally okay, too. I'm just saying like your goal is to look better and be stronger. Don't really focus on trying to be a cardio god or cardio goddess unless you have that as a goal. And I guess the last thing I want to close up on is set some goals for what strength you want to be at. How many push-ups you want to do. How well you want the push-ups to be done. How many bench press reps you want to do at a specific weight. It doesn't have to be just one rep max. Sure, you want to bench press 315, 350, or 400 pounds. Squat, deadlift, 500 plus pounds. Don't really even think about that. Why don't you just focus on getting more reps with a weight that you can control? So maybe 225. Your 225 is a pretty solid weight on the bench. And not very many people can get more two or three. Why not set a goal to do 10 reps with 225? It all depends on where you're at. Set a realistic target for yourself. I like rep PRs because they're less dangerous. They don't, don't require nearly as much of a, you don't need a spotter as much. I do recommend spotters if you can get one or if you're not comfortable with the bench. But set some goals for, for strength. That way you have one singular focus, get stronger. And in the process, you're going to build muscle. It's something that happens with my clients. It's something that happens with me. And it's something that I always preach and recommend. Because people are going about this all the wrong way. They focus on doing these split programs and magazines. And they focus on, you know, trying to build their arms and trying to build their shoulders. But in reality, their whole body is just relatively weak. And if you focus on building strength, you're going to get better overalls, overall results with leaning out, feeling better, and looking better. So that's what I have in closing kind of went on a little rant there. Uh, please post some comments below so that way I come up with some other topics maybe that uh, I can talk about, maybe some suggestions that you had that people will have that I can maybe talk on this channel. But I wanted to cover this because this was something I felt like talking about and I felt like needed to be addressed. Again, thanks for watching. Click like for me and please subscribe if you're not already a subscriber.